This is, today is my first time here. Byron Abelow says he still finds it difficult to process what happened at this restaurant Sunday night. His cousin, Daniel Kane, and her boyfriend, Jerry Pinkston, were having dinner when they heard someone had been shot. Pinkston, an emergency room nurse, went out a side door to help. Kane, a nursing student, was right behind. That's when they came face to face with the shooter who was walking by. He turned, um, he made eye contact with Jerry, and um, Jerry said he doesn't remember seeing a gun, but he remembers hearing a sound, a click or something, and then seeing that him lift his arms towards him. Uh, and Jerry was able to duck out of the way uh, behind some ta patio tables. And that, I think, was the moment where Danny came through the door and just kind of walked into uh, that situation. Now, Abelo says it's not clear if his cousin will walk again. She was hit in the spine by a bullet. And that's just one of her challenges as she remains at St. Michael's Hospital in intensive care. The bullet ruptured her stomach and her uh, diaphragm. And some of the fluids from her stomach were getting into her abdomen. Um, so as we speak right now, her abdomen is still open and they've done a couple of surgeries and procedures, procedures to uh, wash it out, make sure it's clean. Uh, and if all the things go well, tomorrow morning she'll, uh, they'll be able to close it up. And then that's, that's the first big hurdle for her is to heal from that, uh, which should um, take about six weeks is what I've heard. And then there's the injury to her spine. Not life-threatening, but almost certainly life-changing. Out of our family and out of our cousins, like Danielle is like, she's that spark plug. She's like, she's a smile and she's bright and colorful uh, and strong and opinionated. And um, to, to think that she might not be able to do the things that she loves to do, like dance and be athletic and go on hikes and stuff, that uh, it just is tragic. Abelos was asked by Danielle's family to speak publicly. But he says they know they're not the only ones struggling. This whole community is grieving. Two families have lost daughters, and and, uh, and there are many sort of other survivors uh, who have to deal with this fallout from this um, senseless and tragic event. And so Danielle's family continues to support her at her hospital bedside and launching a GoFundMe campaign for what will be a long road to recovery.